RDAs. Not a lot of them is being made right now. Have you noticed that? Uh, the, the whole emphasis right now seems to be on rebuildable tanks. It's rare for me to walk into this green screen and say RDAs. There's not that many being made. But here's another shock for you. Single coil RDAs that are not made for cloud chucking but are made more for flavour chasing. You can barely see it, it's that bloody small in the screen, but this there, right front of the black shot, there we go. This tiny, tiny little RDA is the new Claymore from the folks over at Yacht, not Yacht, Yacht Vape. Apparently Y-A-C-H-T is a new spelling for Yacht, nobody decided to let me know. Y-A-U-G-H-T people, that's how you spell Yacht, but apparently that spelling is now obsolete because I'm old or something. Anyway, Yacht Vape have come out with this. This is a tiny little single coil RDA with about 30 billion different color plastic top cap combos. But with this in its standard configuration, you're looking at a tiny little single coil RDA with a metal top cap. That's one up on the Wasp Nano almost instantly. The big question is this. There's a lot of people out there that do have small single coil RDAs like this in their arsenal, either for trying out new flavours or more especially if they're a flavour mixer, trying out their own flavours. Is this one to get if you've already got the Wasp Nano sitting there? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's time for a dripper review. So here we are with the Yacht Vape Claymore. Tiny, tiny little dripper. Let's just zoom this all the way in. This is it with it. Look how small this thing is, tiny. So we've got the beauty ring down here. It's a 22 millimeter diameter RD without the beauty ring, but with the beauty ring on, it turns it into a 24 millimeter base so it lines up better with mods and stuff. It's a bit too close, the focus is struggling. So starting at the top, you have got your drip tip. And this thing, and these O-rings aren't dry by the way, I've actually been using this a lot recently because it's a cracking little dripper for testing flavours out, but the O-rings on this thing is really, really tight. There we go, finally. 510, obviously you're not going to get an 810 drip tip on a dripper this small, so there we go, you've got your 510 drip tip there. So your own 510 drip tips will work just fine on this. Split barrel design, the upper part of the barrel acts as the airflow control, as you can see, airflow intake there. Airflow intake on the opposite side, and of course this actually pops off. And the reason this pops off is going to become a little bit more apparent later on. So, airflow there, airflow there. The main barrel has got absolutely no naming or logo on it whatsoever. They've put that in the beauty ring instead. Down at the base you've got Claymore, don't vape in a bin, and of course your normal 510. It does come with a squonk pin as well. Let's pop the top cap of this off. And what we've got here, if we zoom this all the way in again, you've got an air channel which is, let's switch the focus off, there we go, and then just drill that focus down into there. You've got an air channel there with a cutout and an air channel there with a cutout, and the reason those cutouts are there is because of the way they've actually done the airflow design. For a dripper of this size, it is surprisingly over-engineered, so this is a full reach top cap, which means this part here, the base goes all the way down, and this part here lines up with the top of this airflow channel. The air goes down and then straight into your coil on the other side. And then you've got another airflow channel here. There's already a coil in this, folks. Um, and this is the last this is the last alien I got. I'm still waiting on I think John's already posted some out, but they haven't arrived yet. But it's 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 a very easy dripper to coil on, folks. You've got your you've got your 
little lip there that stops the leg from popping out when you're screwing things on. It's a very, very simple RDA to coil on, folks. Very simple. We've seen this post layout numerous times in drippers that are far bigger than this one. But there we go. I've got an alien sitting in there right now. Triple core alien. Four wraps and the coil's coming out at 0.4, not 0.4, the coil's coming out at 0.3 ohms, uh, just under 0.3 actually, 0.29, but for the size the dripper is, look how deep that juice well is, 4 millimeter, well 4.5 millimeter if you want to be precise, rather deep juice well for a dripper of that size, but yeah, there is, there is the post layout. And there's the post layout on the other side. So popping a coil in this is going to be super easy. Now, I was talking earlier on about this. Why does this split barrel work this way? Well, Yacht Vape have decided to accessorise the hell out of this thing. Claymore RD colourful kit. Let's pull the zoom all the way out here so we can see what we're doing. Blue. Scuba will like that colour if you're watching this scuba. Your scuba blue. Blue. Green, Rangers, Celtic, so that's the two football teams happy. Purple, Bunny's colour. Clear. Red. Um, alt it's not actual Alton, but it's Alton coloured acrylic. And of course, smoke black effect. And I don't think this is all of them. Either. I think there's a lot more colour options in this, but the reason that that top part actually splits off is the way that they've done this is rather interesting. If we take the clear cap out, you've got a clear drip tip to match the clear cap. You've also got the actual clear cap itself, and if we line this up base to base, let's pull that zoom all the way in, if we line this up and then do that with the focus, there we go. You'll see they're basically a mirror image of each other. You've got the notch in there and the notch in there to line it up with the actual base. The only difference is, instead of these caps being made of metal, they're actually made of acrylic. And what you do is this. You pop the airflow ring off, you've got an airflow here and an airflow here, exactly the same as the metal one. You pop the airflow cap on, this is a bit tight actually because again these o-rings are actually dry. Let's just give this a wiggle. I think that's it, there we go. So you've got your existing metal part, the actual airflow control ring for the metal cap and then you can pop the clear drip tip on the top and what you end up with is something that looks like this. Pop this in, you now have Look at that, that is really fucking cool. Look at that, the way that they've did this. So you've got your metal airflow control ring that's existing on the existing cap, but then the whole thing slots into the colorful kit caps and it makes it look like a very, very snazzy RDA. Look at that. Now, there's only one thing left to do with this. There's no cotton in here because I pulled the cotton out so everyone can have a good close-up look at how the deck looks, but we're wicking a dripper, folks. This isn't going to take all that long. This is a three millimeter alien, so we're going to need a little bit more cotton than usual. Pinch and twist. Feed that through. Right there. Perfect. I need my scissors. You want to leave enough cotton on either side to reach the base of the deck with a little to spare. Get the tweezers out, drop that down, drop that down. And there we go, folks. That is a close-up look at the Claymore RDA from Yacht Vape, including all the... Now, again, I don't think this is all the different colour options for the cat, but I think this is most of them that they've sent out. Let's head back up to the main cam. We'll pop the clear cap on this, and we'll have a vape. Yes.
If you're liking the content on this channel, not just the reviews, but the news stuff, and of course the live shows, and of course the What's Up Sunday update vlog, and all the eSig 101 videos, and you want to consider supporting Vaping with Vic financially, if you head to vapingwithvic.co.uk forward slash support, you will find multiple ways, via either via Patreon, the YouTube membership subscription system, or other ways to actually support Vaping with Vic financially. This is a full-time job for me, folks, and what I'm sitting in right now is a studio that I'm renting out in an office building in the town that I'm living in. For more information on where your money's actually going to go, because you've, you, you, you'll have you want to know where your money's going to go, let's be honest, folks, if you do decide to join Patreon, for instance, again, head on to vapingwithvic.co.uk forward slash support and have a look at the video at the top. Back on to the review. Back up top with the Yacht Vape Claymore RDA. It's, this dripper looks tiny sitting on top of the G-Class. That is a tiny little RDA. Airflow control is fully open. The coil is not coming out at point three. It's actually coming out at point two because I actually had to remove one of the wraps to get the legs like that rather than like that. So here we go. Airflow control fully open and we're off. Oh, the flavour from this. Mmm. Oh. That is some seriously punchy flavour, but you would expect that because the dripper's fucking tiny. Of course it's going to give good flavour. And there we go, folks. The Yacht Vape Claymore RDA. What do I think of this? The eyes and the nods. Is there any no points? Um... I mean, okay, you're you're dealing with an RDA that is extremely small. Now, the smaller you make a chamber, the more heat is generated inside that chamber. Now, unless you put an extremely big coil in this, like a, something like a, a a four wrap, you could probably get away with a four wrap, a four wrap staple stagger fuse Clapton, or something stupid like that in this. If you stick with an alien. Uh, like a dual core or triple core alien or a dual or triple uh, core fused Clapton and run it at round about 50 to 70 watts if you're ohming out at round about 0.2 or 0.3 you're going to get a relatively warm vape but the actual dripper's not going to overheat too much with the metal cap on this, the full metal cap, right some of that heat will travel up. Um, I think this is one of the reasons that Yacht Vape decided to accessorize the hell out of this thing with the different colored caps on it because plastic is not as much of a conductor of heat as metal. So if you are worried about burning your lips or something, or, you know, something like that, not that you're going to burn your lips, but, you know, you're worried about the heat coming off of the top cap, get one of the colored inserts. That's what you can do. Get one of the colored inserts. Yes, the airflow control ring at the top is metal, but it's on top of a plastic cap. And plastic, again, is nowhere near as much of a heat, a heat conductor as metal. And plus, I think, I think the acrylic caps on this makes these things look, makes this little dripper look phenomenally cool. It does. Now, I'm only running this. Um, I'm only running this at 75, well, 75, 80 watts right now because the coil is coming out at 0.21. And it is a rather cool vape. If I was running this at 0.3 or 0.4 with a fused Clapton, I'd be dropping that. I'd be dropping that wattage down to around about 60 or 70 watts. But again, the major downside of this is going to be heat, especially if you're going to be using the full metal cap on this. The second downside, which is a downside for all drippers of this size, especially the Wasp Nano, where's my juice went? So you get your juice, and if you're not squonking and you're dripping from the top, you basically drop a few drops of liquid straight down. Do not vape on it straight away. What you want to do is this. Give it a quick fire. The heat in the coil draws the liquid in, and dumps it on the cotton, which means now you can do this. Not a single bit of spit back. 
That's something you've got to remember with drippers of this size because, because your mouth is so damn close to the coil because the top cap is so dip, because the top cap is so short. If there's a little bit of spit coming out from the coil with the liquid, some of that is going to travel up into your mouth. So few drops from the top. If you're squonking, you're not going to you're not going to worry about this. But if you're dripping from the top, once you've dripped in the top, give it a fire. Let the heat of the coil draw the liquid in and dump it into the cotton. And then the next vape you have, you'll not get any spit back. Old old trick. And it was all the Wasp Nano fans that came out with that trick, but it works fine in this dripper, on this RDA as well. Good points. The flavour. Oh boy, the flavour. Now, this, this RDA is not going to win you any cloud competitions, that's for sure, because it's a rather restrictive draw because of its size, obviously, but... Drippers of this type, small 22mm RDAs, like the Wasp Nano, not the Wasp Nano S, the original Wasp Nano that was a single coiler. Drippers of this size were built for one reason and one reason only, for flavour. They weren't really built to chuck the clouds, bro. They were built for people that wanted pure flavour out of an RDA. And that's exactly what you're going to get with this. And not only that, you can also absolutely accessorise the hell out of this by getting your hands in those coloured caps that I showed you on the table cam. Whatever your favourite colour is, you know, major primary colours obviously, but whatever your favourite colour is, there's bound to be a colour option for the top cap on this RDA because again, I don't think that's all the colour options I showed you on the table cam. Personally, I like it with the clear cap. That's a personal favourite with mine. There is the thing about these small drippers it is about the flavour. That's, that's all it comes down to. If you are looking for what is essentially going to be a replacement for the ageing Wasp Nano, because let's face it, the Wasp Nano is starting to show its age now. It's been out for a good, what, three years? Something like two or three years. If you're looking for a replacement for the Wasp Nano, and you're all about the flavour. You like to try out different liquids. Maybe you're a DIY mixer and you're looking for a small compact RDA that will concentrate on the flavour and not so much in the clouds. You now have another option because let's face it, folks, the Wasp Nano has ruled the roost for a good number of years now when it comes to small form factor RDAs that are flavour chasers and not cloud chasers. Now the Wasp has got a little bit of competition from this little fella. And again, you've got a whole bunch of accessory top caps to suit your different, uh, to suit your fit, to suit your favorite flavor profile. This is the question people are gonna ask though. Vic, you've got the Wasp Nano. What's it like, coil for coil, alien in this case, and wick for wick, cotton god's cotton? And if you drop the same liquid into those two drippers with the same coil and with the same wick and run them at exactly the same wattage, what's the flavour difference between the two? I'll be honest, for the vast majority of cases, like fruits for instance and tobaccos at low milligram diluted down naturally extracted, I couldn't really tell the difference between the two RDAs. However, there was one flavour profile, range of flavour profiles actually, where I did notice a difference where this little fella actually edged it out over the Wasp Nano, and that was custards. And I think a lot of it is to do with the way that Yacht Vape have decided to do the airflow configuration in this, with the air going down an inner channel and then in. What those channels are essentially doing is pushing pushing the inner core, the inner chamber, further into the coil, which is very similar to what the Wasp Nano did with the Valley style of deck clamp system that they did with the Umi A Wasp Nano. But what they've done with this is they've not only pushed the inside of the posts further into the coil, because they're pushing the posts further into the coil, the airflow there's literally only about two and a half millimetre distance between the side of this coil and the side airflow 
with the channel going in. And if you line up your coil perfectly, you'll want the middle of the coil to line up bang on with the side airflow channel. If you line the coil up perfectly, I think it's the chamber design and the airflow design in this that seems to bring out the creams and custards a bit more. Again, if you're a fruit vapor, if you just do nothing but fruits, you're not going to notice the difference between the two drippers. You're really not, because I've tried black vine through it. I've tried crimson seed through it. I've tried the peach custard, concentrating on the peach side of things. I never noticed a difference. But with the peach custard and with a plain old vanilla custard, this seemed to edge it over the wasp nano. Not by much, but it did seem to edge it. So that might be something to think about if you're a DIY mixer or you're a fan of cream and custard vapes. This does edge it over the Wasp Nano. And if you think about it, considering the Wasp Nano's coming up in something like three years old, and it's taken this long for an RDA manufacturer that can come out with an RDA that could stand toe to toe with it, that's not bad going on Umie's part, but this little dripper is gonna be one to watch out for. Um, I think it got released yesterday. When's this, when's this video going out? I think this video is out on Friday. So I think this got released onto the mainstream market yesterday, Thursday. So you might start seeing it pop up in online stores. Anyway, one more beat and we'll call it quits. It's, it's the, just the sheer intensity of the flavour coming from this thing. It is phenomenal flavour from this little RDA. And there we go, folks. That was the Yacht Vape Claymore RDA. Big thanks to Yacht Vape for sending it over for a review. If you thought this review sucks and what to do down below, thought it was good, give it a thumbs up. Very fast at the top, you've got the latest video, no matter what video you're watching in the channel. Any that's latest What's Up Sunday update vlog in the middle. Shout out to the hashtag the Floof Army, the Patreon subscribe stars, and the YouTube members for keeping Vape Me Vic financially supported. That's what's paying for this studio. And underneath me is the Vape Me Vic logo. Click on that to subscribe. As always, folks, thanks for watching and have a good one.